you guys just a quick update uh, on the 240 uh, since I've picked up a few um, geos at the local fish store here as you can see I'm, oops sorry about that I'm gonna try to zoom in into them here they are I think they're Alta fronds um, they were yeah I got a bunch of them I got like nine of them <laughs> I know they'll take a bunch of the space once they grow out uh, and tank space is actually kind of limited right now anyways but you know we'll we'll deal with it once they grow up but as for now we've added those geos and a few more uh, I found some gold sebrums so there's two of them right there um, yeah so it's tank is fully stocked now uh, looking good very active and and yeah, I don't plan to add anything else. I plan to remove a few as things, you know, uh, fish grow grow bigger. And, you know, as long as I keep up with the maintenance, I think I'm fine right now. Again, this is a 240, um, you know, I was in transitioning or in the midst of transitioning this tank from a central to a South American tank. But um, I think I'm going to hang on to the three VA has for now since they're, they're not causing too much trouble at all. Um, if anything, they kind of keep everybody in check and, and disperse the aggression. Because, <laughs> to be honest, these, these Severums, especially the, the red shoulder, they're, they're pretty aggressive. I mean, they, they hold their own. Um, and without the, without the VA has in there... They'll just kind of dominate everybody, but besides the blood parrots. Um, and yeah, I mean, with the blood parrots, um, I wasn't a big, huge fan of them, but they kind of fill up the tank pretty well, uh, add some nice color to the tank, some nice activity. Um, they too actually are like, serve as dither fish, if anything, because they don't really harm anybody. They chase some fish around but they don't cause any trouble. Um, yeah, there's enough space for, you know, fish to to escape their, their charges because that's really all they do, right? Uh, but yeah, that's that's the tank as it stands right now. And I'll, I'll just keep on doing updates as fish grow up, uh, especially these, these geos because they're, they're the uh, smallest ones. They're about, I don't know, inch and a half probably. Um, yeah, and here's the here's the red sebrum, beautiful red sebrum. Um, here's one of the viejas, uh, one of my grow outs. He's the largest one, so I'm keeping that one. Another red sebrum right next to him, um, and of course a group of geos again passing by. There's a couple of the very small gold sebrums, pretty feisty. Actually, the small one is the feistiest one out of all of them. Uh, uh, let's, yeah, let's show the blood parrots. They're cool. And again, you know, not not a huge, uh, not not a favorite fish of mine, but they work well in this kind of a. Uh, community setting I have currently. Uh, so another VA uh, And back there are the two red shoulder subrooms. Now let's kind of zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the full tank. Again, this is a 248 foot tank. Um, and right now it's, you know, mix three centrals. Well, you count the blood parrots, they're technically central, so six centrals and everybody else is South American. So far, so good. And I'm liking the, the kind of like the color 
of the tank right now. As far as, you know, we have uh, some viejas, uh, but also the blood parrots and the golden red severums really, really bring out and pop the tank out, right? They kind of stand out amongst the other kind of muted colors of the, the fish, but and then these geos should be rather nice once they're full grown. I'm gonna try to zoom in on them again, because I know I'll be doing some updates on them. On them, they'll be the ones that are gonna have the most changes in the upcoming months. So I'll make sure I'll document them at this size, which is about one and a half inch, I'd say. Judging from what people are saying, the, this is a uh, Altafrons. Um, I think it was listed as something else, but look to be Altafrons geos. All right, and I'll just end it with a, another wide shot, and just let you guys watch the activity for a little bit, and I'll sign off.